Remember how it said yes. I, my, my, my question is that uh, a lot of questions actually combine to be answered by different people. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so not all, I would say, uh, question, the question, the question, we'll do the question and, and then uh, let, let whoever them to answer. Yeah, it's like collective sure. intelligence. Good, I like that. Of course. There's a tendency for multiple people to answer the same question. Yes. And unless you really have something different to say, why not? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. All right. Excellent. Who wants to start the ball rolling with a question? No question. No. <laughs> I got a question. Uh, to the API vote. Yeah, um, I know you guys collect all the data and so on. Uh, how do we utilize in the mic? The data. Um, like from API vote. I'm not sure it's le legitimately we'd be able to retrieve that uh, to be able to use, especially for my campaign, it's very important. And uh, Florida wise. So there's census data that we work with API data to update on a regular basis for statewide um, fact sheets. So in the past, because like Maryland and some places we didn't have a partner, we didn't prioritize those areas. But if I know if there's specific states where there, we could potentially partner, then we'll prioritize in making sure that there is a state-specific fact sheet. And those fact sheets actually provide you um, the latest trends in terms of uh, population growth, citizen voting, aging population, um, ethnic specific, what, where, what top counties you're located. The whole idea is we're trying to create a cheat sheet for the media and campaigns to like say, here, I'm telling you where you need to focus and engage the API population. But nonprofits can also use that in the same way. That's one piece of data. And everything's on our website under apivote.org slash research. The other one is every two years we've conducted the um, Asian American Voter Survey. So this year, Civic Leadership USA was one of our main funders of that. Um, so for uh, we did conduct a webinar. So once again, on the website, you can actually go ahead and download the PowerPoint, the report. You can even listen to the webinar in itself. If it's helpful, we can actually organize another webinar just for this network, and we could go over that data again. Because unfortunately, there is no other polling data that's done in language of Asian American voters. So many times, these data points, we're actually going to be using it for the next two years leading up to the 2020 elections. So there were specific questions that were added, even on public policy issues and other things, so we can actually utilize that data strategically in the trends. Um, then also what has happened is after the elections, uh, there were some pre, like um, election day surveys that were done. So we've also have collected that. In March, the voter files will all be updated. Then we'll be analyzing the work of our partners to see everyone that they've touched, whether or not we were able to increase their participation. Now, moving forward, if you want access to voter files, that's where it's, um, it, this, there's actually a particular process because um, what has happened is that foundations have put in money to um, state voices to purchase the ability to actually access voter files and different nonprofits, as long as we abide by the rules and regulations of state voices, we can sign a contract and then get access to those voter files after you've also conducted training. And so we could, but even before that, we can at least do, API vote could do some ana initial analysis for some of the states. So for instance, Florida, we definitely already have data because we work with um, Winnie Tang, who's coming in tomorrow, and some other groups already. Yeah, I, I have one comments and uh, one question. Uh, my comments is uh, in California, I don't know other states, there's uh, Political Data Inc. I use that to get some demographic information, just like immediate start my campaign, I check that there's uh, how many uh, Indian, how many Chinese, and uh, how many Filipinos. 
That's one resource we can use in California. Uh, my question for Kristin is, uh, I got the voters data. And there, I can tell if you're born uh, like somewhere like in China, I can know you're Chinese. If you speak uh, Chinese language, you're Chinese. How can you tell the rest? What I did, is, I mean, I found some like top 10 most or top 100 most popular Chinese last name and then get that some more identify those Chinese. But how do you identify the Filipino, uh, Chinese, Indian? So, okay, because you're in California, California voter files are a little bit different because in your voter registration, they ask you your uh, country of origin. All other states do not collect that. Okay, so that's one advantage that all of you in California have. So the other thing is, uh, there's I need to separate access that political campaigns have, the your voter file system, and the voter file system that 501c3s have access to. So even though the parent company may be the same, we only have access to. There's a wall. There's a, actually only certain information that we have access to. So for instance. Candidates and particular parties may have access to modeling in terms of who's more progressive or conservative or who's going to be more in line with like particular issues that you as a candidate may be interested in. We don't have access to that. But there are models in terms of, um, so the voter files we have, we've worked with, they've overlaid census data, the, they've overlaid um, surname lists, and there has been some modeling done. So we actually most likely to be Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese. But I also tell all the nonprofits is that it's really about you um, using the voter files year after year. When you register, that's why it's so crucial for us to enter that data back in and tag them correctly so that way our modeling actually continues to be better. And then also the more we use it when we make calls, we actually mark like, oh, that actually person was actually Korean, not Chinese, or they would prefer to speak in English or they prefer to speak in Chinese or things like that. All right, so now, 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 now my voice will be more magnetic. <laughs> well, anyway, so, so therefore I, I, I would say collective uh, in our data bank is very important, data is power. So therefore in such case, uh, let everybody uh, collect it. And then I suppose uh, at one time, we tried to draft somebody to run for a candidate. And then we discussed that a focus group survey and those things uh, cost a lot of money. So therefore, but every place and every time is very different. So therefore, in such a case, uh, this is why collectively we need to work together and that networking is so important. Uh, I just want to make a comment here. I think the, uh, your question and also what you said is very important. This whole society is moving into a data-driven society. We all know that. So, um, Tomorrow, uh, I prepared a presentation as a feedback to you know, your other questions. I will present an idea. I think we should, at a time, as Asian American communities, we need to think about Asian American community infrastructure. We need to think about that. That's a long-term 
I'm thinking 20, 25 years project, because we need to have that kind of capability using the state of our information technology to support people like Andy. So anybody want to elect should have instant access to their data and analysis to that. Together with that, we need to know our heritage, okay? We need to know the, the, our models, you know, the, or the exemplary in, inspiration. We can have multimedia, have data. With, with today's big data and data science, already such a available technology, we can do it. But of course, we need to do that together. Again, this cannot be fragmented. If it's fragmented, we always have this challenge. So, yeah, so tomorrow yeah, I will try to share, I have pre prepared my presentation in PowerPoint, share with you some example, how do we do it? I really believe we can do it, it's time to do it. Historically, this is the moment we can shine, I really feel, thank you. Okay, talking about